Hey guys, and welcome back to the Acne channel. My name is Lavinia Rosanda, and I'm also a content creator here on YouTube and TikTok. Thank you so much for joining us in this week's video, and we're going to be talking about benzoyl peroxide and what it can do for acne, what are some of the pros and cons, and really, this is just going to be the benzoyl peroxide 101 video, so let's get right on into it. So just to give you a little background, I have been struggling with acne for about seven years, ever since I was 13 years old, and my acne is mainly hormonal as well as cystic. I get it a lot in this lower half of my face, and when I do get it, it is large cysts that really hurt, but I've also struggled with some of those smaller breakouts as well. And when it comes to acne, I find the main topical ingredients that are used are like salicylic acid, or different types of retinol, and benzoyl peroxide. So today I wanted to really get into all the pros and cons regarding benzoyl peroxide so that you guys have all the information you need on it. So basically it works very similarly to salicylic acid in the way that it can exfoliate the skin and exfoliate deeply within the pores to unclog them. Therefore it can be helpful for whiteheads and blackheads, just how salicylic acid is. But the difference with benzoyl peroxide is it can actually help target the acne bacteria, the bacteria that causes acne and kill it effectively as well. And aside from that, it can also help with inflammation and redness and overall with all these factors, it can really be a great ingredient for targeting acne fast and effectively as it does have those anti-inflammatory properties that often come along with acne and it can help reduce that swelling pain and redness that's kind of like the biggest pro regarding acne because it is very effective and it can definitely help treat different types of acne as well and aside from that another big pro is that it's accessible and affordable so in the United States it is readily available over the counter so basically you can walk into a drugstore store and get a benzoyl peroxide product but in Canada it is actually not available other than being prescription only but in the United States as it is available over the counter you can find it at 2.5% 5% and 10% and it's also available in many different forms, such as cleansers, creams, topical, like spot treatment type products. So for example, Penoxyl is a very popular cream cleanser that is used for acne, and this has 4% benzoyl peroxide in it, so it is a very effective cleanser for acne from skin. And it's also available at the drugstore, so super affordable and accessible. La Roche-Posay also has a benzoyl peroxide spot treatment that a lot of people have said is really effective. In Canada though, it is only available as a salicylic acid form, not a benzoyl peroxide form. And there are also similar treatments like from Paul's Choice and other brands. As well, if you do want that higher concentration of benzoyl peroxide to treat more severe acne, prescription concentrations are available as long as you go see your doctor or dermatologist. Now, with those over-the-counter options, I would suggest to start off slow to make sure that you're using the right concentration for your skin because as we'll talk about later benzoyl peroxide does have some cons to it so you want to make sure you're not doing more damage than good and i would say start off at a lower percentage maybe like the 2.5 percent and work your way up if needed but don't start off way too strong for something your skin can't handle and another thing it can actually help with is also that post-inflammatory pigmentation that is left behind when acne starts to heal as well as acne scarring and the reason it can help with this is because the benzoyl peroxide Oxide is actually a bleaching agent so it can help lighten up that pigmentation left behind from your acne and therefore it's kind of like a good two-in-one you know it's gonna help get rid of the acne but also the pigment that comes with it all right so now let's get into some of the cons because I think it's very important to talk about these since you know there's a lot of good things that come with benzoyl peroxide but some other things that you should be aware of in case you want to start using it so overall it can be pretty irritating to the skin especially at those higher concentrations such as 10% and with that irritation can also come a lot of dryness to the skin so for someone like me with sensitive dry skin I would have to be careful when using benzoyl peroxide as it is a very potent ingredient now, now with that, if you are going to use it, make sure you're taking precautions as far as the rest of your skincare routine goes to make sure that you're not overdoing it to your skin. So if you are using benzoyl peroxide in your routine or integrating into your routine, make sure you're avoiding use of any other like harsh active ingredients such as retinols, even salicylic acid, AHAs, BHAs, those harsh chemical exfoliants because you don't want to do too much to your skin. And with that, you also want to make sure you're keeping your skin hydrated and moisturized. So maybe incorporate some humectant 
surfactants such as hyaluronic acid or glycerin into your routine and have a good moisturizer that can combat that dryness in your skin. Going along with that sensitivity, if you are going to be using benzoyl peroxide, try to avoid the sun when you use it. And if you will be outside and in sunlight, make sure you are protecting your skin with SPF, the higher the better, because benzoyl peroxide does shed the top few layers of your skin when you are using it, causing your skin to be more sensitive to the sun. And this can make you more prone to skin damage and skin burns and even make you more photosensitive to the sun. So you just want to make sure you are avoiding those potential reactions in contact with the sun. So try to avoid it as much as you can or if you need to be out in the sun, make sure you're wearing a lot of SPF while using benzoyl peroxide. Now, as I talked about before, benzoyl peroxide is a bleaching agent, which, which can have benefits to acne scarring and any of that post-inflammatory pigmentation. But what it can also do is bleach your clothing, bleach your pillowcases, and basically anything, any like fabric that is coming in contact with your face, as well as like towels or even face masks. So make sure to stick to like white towels so you don't damage them. But I just wanted to put that out there because a lot of people, because I don't want you damaging all your stuff um, when using benzoyl peroxide. And the last like big con I would say is although it's a very effective acne treatment it really is only good for those short-term results let's say you're someone who has started to get acne because you're a teenager and based on your genetics and everything like that you know that your acne is gonna go away as you grow older so benzoyl peroxide might be like a quick and easy fix and you might be good to go but for someone like me who does have a more permanent acne that always kind of resurfaces benzoyl peroxide might not be the best option it can definitely be great short term to help with my acne but you can't overuse it as one day you will need to get off of it so it could be great for maintenance for hormonal or cystic acne and since it is that topical treatment it will help while you're actually applying it to your skin but opposed to like an oral treatment it's not going to be as long term and you need to be always applying it to your skin and with that you're going to have to slowly get off of it and do that like progressively to take it out of your routine and that can often cause acne to come back the same way it was before you started using the benzoyl peroxide. So there you have it. Those are kind of the pros and cons of using benzoyl peroxide. I want to know what you think down below in the comments. It can be a great ingredient that has a lot of benefits, but with that also comes some negative things that you need to consider before using it. So hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the acne channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!